Welcome to another episode. As you can see, I've got the turbo back from Hypergear. I got picked it up about nearly a week ago. I've been running into a lot of issues with the engine. There's a lot of things leaking like the power steering hoses, oil drain hoses, and I'm trying to find places to order them. I've ordered a shit ton of parts from Kudos Motorsport. Check them out because they've sent me a lot of cool shit. I picked up a new ECU. I've got a Helltech ECU. It cost me like nearly two grand, but it's going to be worth it in the long run. I've like got all a bunch of new gaskets for the turbo, new fucking washers, everything, so everything's clean. Also, got a uh, braided hose line for the oil feed because the standard oil feed on the R33 is literally like a pen dot hole. It's just gonna uh, oil starve with all that power. It needs a lot of oil running through the turbo, so these are perfect for it. I can use the stock water lines for the turbo because they're still thick enough to get enough water into the turbo, so that's sick. So I have to spend more money on braided hoses line. So yeah, as you can see, they've high flowed it all. Got a new core in it. Everything is just clean. Currently, before I do the tune, still got to get a wide band center for the ECU. I've got to plug that in. So just remove the original O2 center, then plug in the wide band from Haltech, plug it into the ECU. I've got to do a air temperature sensor. I've got to plug that into the ECU. What else do I have to do? Oh, my GFB boost controller, I don't need that anymore, so I'm going to sell that because I've got to get a three-ported boost solenoid and i got to wire that up too. So there's just a lot of shit to do right now before the tune. And my injectors, fuel rail, fuel pressure regulator. Fuck, there's a lot of things. Uh, that should be here within a couple of days, but first I'm just going to put all the turbo and everything back together. I'm going to have everything clean, new hoses, new gaskets, everything, so that way no more leaks. Seriously, I just cannot wait to get all this done. And apparently my intercooler, my front mount blitz, I don't know why I bought it. I thought they were good because it was like, it was 600 bucks, return flow. I didn't have to do any cutting holes and shit in the body. But apparently they don't make as much power. Like apparently it's got like a restrictor. So when you hit like say, I don't know, 250 kilowatts, it will just drop. So if, even if you up the boost by like two more PSI, it won't do anything. So I might have to get a new front mount intercooler. I'm still researching about it. So hopefully I don't have to get a new intercooler because I'm sick of spending money right now. I've spent so much money right now. But yeah, it's pretty depressing because the weather's always been raining. So I never have time to work on the car. Like every time I finish work, it's just pissing down rain. I don't have a garage as you can see. And I'm working outside. It's freezing cold, I've got two jackets. So this build is just killing me and getting to work is just a pain in the ass. I have to borrow cars. There's no transport to work. So this car is like what gets me around. So hopefully I get it done within two weeks. So sorry guys if I haven't been uploading much. I've just been busy. It's been raining. I have to order parts. Every time I go do something, something breaks. And again, I have to order parts. So thank you Kudos Motorsport for having a lot of parts for Skylines. I'll put a link in the description of Kudos. Check them guys out. They got a lot of stuff on their sites for Skylines, Sylvia's, you name it. Just give it a check out. So as I said, there's a lot to do on my list, but once I get all those things done, then bang, we can film a tune, then we can start doing videos again. So there's gonna be a lot of crazy shit, so subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, give this video a like. Give a comment in this video what you think this will be making, like what kind of power figures. And to our new subscribers, welcome. Like I've noticed our subscribers have gone up and it's so sick that all this work that we're doing to our cars, the editing and filming, like it's all paying off. Like it's so sick that you guys watch our videos and leave nice feedback like we love seeing comments like supportive comments people that have got skylines and they talk about what they've gone through i love reading that shit so if you've got an r33 or another skyline sylvia whatever you got chaser super let me know how your build went like what you've done to it like the hell that you went through 
because building cars ain't easy. Nothing's ever a bolt-on. Every time you read something, oh, it's just a bolt-on. It's complete bullshit. Don't believe it. It's more than a bolt-on. Something will break, and then you're gonna spend days getting new parts, sourcing out shit, what to do with your car. It's just, oh. Alright guys, I got the cam seals out, they're all out, especially the crank seal one, so now it's time to replace it with the new ones. Alright, I'm not going to film this process of putting the new seals in and putting everything back together because that's just pointless, it's all in reverse, it's pretty boring footage, like, we're getting closer and closer to getting that turbo back on and we're going to have some sick power gains, trust me guys, it's going to be fucking sick. So still a fair few parts coming in before I can even bolt a turbo on, so this video is just going to be pretty much an update video I reckon. So I'm going to try to do a lot of maintenance stuff and then I'll definitely film a video putting the turbo back in, putting the new oil in, the new coolant, make sure everything is 100%. We're going to turn over the car and we're going to go for a test drive together. So I'm going to take you guys on a ride in the 33. Hopefully nothing fucks up. I'm not going to hit full boost or anything, just casually drive around to make sure nothing's leaking. Everything is a 100%. And then we're going to film some tune stuff. We're going to film the injectors. i got to get a new IA. I gotta get a new fuel pump now, apparently 255 is just not gonna cut it, so I gotta get a 460 Warbro, and then I'm gonna do a relay video, there's a mate, Josh, he's gonna help me do the relay, cause I hate wiring, like wiring is the worst thing, mechanical stuff, bolt and all that shit, I'm okay with it, but with wiring, I hate wiring, it's like my worst thing ever. Thank you guys for the support and love for this channel, and for the 33 build, like I'm trying to do as much as I can for you guys, like, I'm trying to stay positive because right now it's kind of like on the downhill side because I've been spending so much money. But in the end, it's all going to pay off when I hit close to 300 kilowatts. If this thing hits 300 kilowatts, I'll be fucking over the moon of happiness. Thanks for watching this video, guys. And trust me, the next videos will be so much better once this thing has all been upgraded, have more power. We're going to do so much fun shit. We can go up to the hills and do some drift videos. and It's going to be sick. So thank you guys again for showing so much love in the comments, support, and everything else. See you guys in the next video.